you put the, the, this plastic film, the, the one that you use normally for the, uh, uh, the underground uh, the house. Okay, that's quite uh, interesting, no? Thank you very much. So, any questions from the audience? So uh, we decide with uh, the blockchain we have totally transparent uh, all the information that we put inside, put inside the contract we have with the farmer and everything is inside there. Everybody can check no? that, that, uh, and you cannot remove and, uh, and uh, so there is not a, a, the double counting, uh, the, the double uh, production of the tone and, uh, and all is fixed by the blockchain. It's like a, a notarization, a notarization that you have. So it is uh, only something that you, that we did, to give to our client, uh, to the industry that is going not to buy. Not to create like a coin or something. No, this is not a story. So if uh, somebody wants to create, we thought that uh, we, I give you a ton of CO2, and you are going to have this like uh, under. Uh, Sotto stand, uh, the underground, the coin, you create a coin, no? It's one ton, you create 1,000 coin or uh, 100 coin or whatever, and you create coin, green coin, with CO2 absorbed. But this is another story, no? because we, we, uh, we don't do this. Okay, this is somebody that maybe in the future they want to do this, we give the tons and they do the coin. Very interesting that trust is so important in this certification. I think, I think uh, this could be really the engine, the, the gasoline that, uh, uh, that can give to our engine to run. No? Because otherwise we are going slowly. Because uh, we see in the first year, uh, in Italy and France, uh, the farmer, no, you, some farmers come enthusiastically to, to do the bamboo. Then they see that uh, the time is quite long to, to have uh, uh, the shoots. And uh, the industry, we, uh, we, uh, you have seen how many research we have done, how many industries we, we, we talk. Uh, and uh, every industry needs huge, not, not every, but a lot of industry need huge quantities. So this industry cannot start now. They want, they want the material, but they cannot start because they want to do bricks, no? like uh, bricks uh, uh, with uh, uh, bamboo chips, huh? but they need like uh, 100 trucks, and we have only 15, and we cannot uh, uh, give for that. And, uh, so you need quantities to supply to the bioplastic, to the pulp, to the industry for the um, buildings uh, or, uh, and uh, how you can do so many hectares. We have the capacity to, do, to supply a lot of plant, but uh, somebody has to invest. No? So uh, if the uh, industry is going to invest because they buy the CO2 no? and, uh, and so they invest, this can make uh, this industry jump. Any questions? Yes, please. And then you. Okay. Hello. <laughs> okay. Okay. What a wonderful service. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. Um, I have a question to you, uh, Mr. Talbi. Talbi. Yes. yes. Uh, my name is Pham. I come. Uh, I am German, but with the roots in Vietnam, and uh, I am representative of uh, Mrs. Mihan, 
in uh, South Vietnam. She has uh, Oisha's Institute uh, for uh, Bamboo and uh, she uh, makes uh, different uh, experience to measure the um, amount of, um, of um, uh, hydrogen carbon. Um, and I have uh, one question uh, to you. You said in your presentation, um, 500, to 500 um, ton um, bamboo, no? Uh, each hectare you can uh, produce. It was CO2. Yes. Uh -huh. the soil, yeah. Yes, and Vietnam uh, gives uh, six, uh, six million uh, of um, hydrogen carbon in the air. That means um, Vietnam needs uh, one, one million two hundred hectare to uh, to um, absorb uh, this uh, uh, this uh, hydrogen carbon. Is this uh, right? Uh, no, because it differs uh, from terrain to terrain and from height to height. There's what well, there was a certain uh, measurement or uh, uh, yeah uh, yeah right uh, research for. Um, from a university that I uh, included it in uh, in my work, and it's not consistent around the world. So that's, mm -hmm. that was basically the best case. Is this in um, where is this? Oh, it was right? somewhere in Colombia. Ah, Colombia. Yeah. Okay, this is a different. <laughs> yes, because in Vietnam, uh, Mr. Mi, uh, Mrs. Mihan had uh, measured uh, one hundred ton uh, each hectare. Yeah, mm -hmm. but. Could uh, be. Yes, um, and uh, is this, um, you mean it is uh, possible uh, to reduce this hydrogen um, carbon with this, uh, when we plant uh, uh, in Vietnam, some, for example, to reduce um, carbon, hydrogen carbon, um, carbon, is this um, all right? Of course, yes. of course, because you can uh, combine the, the bamboo with uh, the local forest. So it works uh, in, in Colombia, works it uh, quite well, and you can try it or you can test it first in, in, in certain areas. And then uh, that I meant when we, we need to do some research about or, or further or further more search uh, about this topic. Yeah. That mean um, uh, bamboo um, plantation is a way to reduce um, hydrogen carbon. Of course. Um, and this is a good way to do that. It doesn't harm the local ecosystem. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you for your question. Another question? Yes, please. Yes, I wanted to ask Sonia and uh, not Robert. Was it Robert? Okay. Um, uh, you come to a country which you don't know very much, and then uh, you try to work with the materials you find. What about the, the people who have to construct? Um, where do you find the qualified workers and how do you do it? You teach yourself, you teach others. How, how does that work? Especially uh, when I think of the taxi park, the old taxi park of Kampala. Uh, that sounds amazing and I'm very curious to see that <laughs> finished. Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's a big challenge. But yeah, we start we start small, and there's a lot of uh, technical knowledge in the wood industry in um, in uh, Uganda. So uh, the transfer to uh, to bamboo uh, will need to be made, uh, but it, it will be a challenge. But we start small. And from there we grow into a bigger industry and uh, that's also for the, the workers around the whole uh, uh, old taxi park. Um, we have to come up with, we cannot design like they do in Bali with uh, super defined small intelligent details where a lot of craft work is needed. So we have to come up with a design um, where, which is suitable in Uganda. So we have the workers and the knowledge in Uganda and we have a design with that, so we don't only have the material that is local, but also the work capacity and the knowledge about the material that is local. So together with that, we are going to uh, find a solution how we can make it. Uh, yeah, that is uh, 
creating and designing joints that are then that in uh, uh, which can be made by hand. And it's doable. You could you could see it with the uh, with the lifting of the wooden structures um, in one of the pictures that Robert showed. And uh, yeah, we'll have to find a way. I, I cannot tell you how we, how we will do it, but uh, step by step and with a lot of hands, you can you come very far. You have that? Yeah, but I think you uh, explained it well. Uh, it's basically we need to adapt to the local circumstances. But from your question, there's also a kind of assumption that there's a lack of, uh, of skills and knowledge. Um, the fact is actually that as a, there is a lot of knowledge, there is a lot of skills, but it's the matter of how to unlock it and get all these people together to find, literally find them and, um, and start, start collaborations uh, with them. Because only through that first project for the National Teachers College, starting from nothing and delivering, delivery within the time and budget of such a project for the client, we managed to educate, doing a course of only one project. So it is all about that. But yes, we need to go that extra mile during those projects. I think this is what all these speakers and projects they are talking about has, has in common that you look at the things in a positive way and you have the trust that the process somehow will show you a solution. And actually this is what real entrepreneurship is about, no? You have to trust that you will find a solution or that you will find somebody who help you and know the solution. It's quite interesting. It's, it's in all these projects we are seeing here, which are so amazing, trust and this positivity is so important. Don't you think so? I completely agree with you. I think I've said that you really have to trust the process or respect the process. Uh, get in touch with the local community. Um, the local community has a lot of knowledge, but you have to know how to get this knowledge from them. And you bring the knowledge, so this is a junction. Um, it's a good co combination. You cannot, um, for instance, in Mozambique, we always do the community consulting before you do anything. So you have to respect what the community have to see, like the project that you bring in, and to combine with what they, they acknowledge. They do know a lot. They've been building with bamboo for thousands of years, so yeah, they do know what they're doing. Any more questions from the audience? You're very welcome. Is your question? Yes, please, come to the mic. Hello, thank you for the presentations. Um, my name is Maria, I'm an architecture student and I'm currently doing my master thesis at the TU Munich and combined with a project in Mexico with Caio Peña. And um, my task will be to design an active bending pavilion structure and I was researching about sustainable um, methods, how to, how to design this pavilion. So my question would be, what in your opinion would be a good approach to design sustainable joints and also how to work with bent bamboo and also regarding uh, on-site doability, so really working with people on-site and not um, relying on very yeah, um, high-tech solutions to bend or to create joints for them. To whom do you address your question? Um, actually, mostly to the architects, Robert and Sunny, or also to uh, Paulino, if you have anything to say. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, uh, tell me if I don't answer it at all, but um, our approach is if we can make the design uh, and our joints ourselves, uh, we can also transfer the knowledge. So uh, we uh, make designs by model making, and we're testing, and um, trying to solve the design problem in a way um, that we, we can build it ourselves. So um, it's actually easier when you're on site and just building it and designing it from that moment, that's the, that's the best solution, but you know, well, you're here and designing it from behind the computer. First step is just get away from the computer and make the model uh, yourself, then try testing it, test the joints, order some bamboo from, from 
from all you know, so or, or wherever you can get your bamboo from and just uh, get a saw and, and test it. And I'll actually go to Mexico in three weeks, so <laughs> even better. <laughs> get your bamboo over there and just, just, just start trying and uh, make uh, mock-ups, uh, real-life mock-ups, so you can uh, find yourself in between. And don't make the definite joints, but just uh, uh, be there in the space and uh, talk with the people with which you are going to make it and uh, try together to solve how you can uh, make the joints and make sustainable joints in me. And yeah, protect your joints somehow to, to last longer. Thank you. Any more questions from the audience? I would like to have another question to you, Fabrizio. We often hear in, in the projects from today that these first five years are so critical and crucial because the farmers, reforest, or planting bamboo, they don't earn anything. So you found a method to finance them through these five years. How do you do this? Normally, at the third or fourth year, if the plantation is good, like you see, he, the farmer can collect some shoots, okay? And uh, uh, can uh, start to deradate, uh, to, to cut the small cane, and this can be a little, little. But, uh, no, but the most uh, valuable is after the five or six years, when the bamboo is, uh, is up. So um, we, till now, we did a, a sort of, um, we try a little to finance, but our organization cannot, uh, because otherwise uh, we don't have money to finance everybody. No, we have to prepare, pay the people that prepare the plant, uh, and uh, all, all uh, so we need uh, somebody else to finance. So the CO2 can be a solution. Another solution can be the help that could be from the government to this project if the, government, uh, the governments are going to join this. But till now the agricultural associations are very strong and they don't, they, are, they see the bamboo a little, uh, now they can, can start to accept in Italy because uh, C and C and C and a lot of uh, they association uh, farmer did, uh, but uh, they are still sceptic, no? because uh, okay, if you think our reality start last year, uh, very very short time, because uh, we start to plant in 2014, we had 30% uh, of the plantations that didn't go at the beginning that didn't go well, no, because uh, we we give the plant and we give uh, instruction, but then uh, we, we are not the, the guys that manage uh, the plantation. So it is like a roulette russa, no? that uh, you don't know what happened then, uh, after. In, uh, in fact, uh, now that some big projects are coming, because uh, at the beginning uh, our requests were one hectare, two hectares, then we start five hectares, ten hectares, then now, uh, when they are moving, they are moving with 50, 100 hectares. So I cannot uh, accept that uh, a plantation of 50 or 100 hectares is going to fail. So what we are doing, we implement, not, not only we are going to uh, give the plant, but we have uh, studied a protocol no, to plant, and we are going to plant. So we are going to avoid uh, 80%, 90% of the problem because the, the good starting is uh, the, so we are going uh, uh, to move to, towards the land to do a little uh, uh, hill, like 15 centimeters, no? and we are going to put a biodegradable film on this with the irrigation uh, plant down, and we are going to plant on this field, no? under this field. So, uh, Amumozo is going to run on the line, no? the first uh, year, no? the, when we go, is going, the, the horizon can do as well two meters, because the, the land is very soft, very humid, very protected, no, no weeds, no, no, no grass, and so it's going, so the next year in April, when the, the shoot is coming, no? we have the line, 
and that's the formator. And when you have done this, okay, the condition is going to be because uh, uh, then uh, uh, the bamboo is uh, always more strong, uh, uh, the air more and more strong. So after you pass the first year, you are uh, safe. So these five years, you also still looking for a solution to. We want, we want, uh, uh, my dream is uh, very soon to uh, reach the, the, mm, the contract that we are working with the, the company that must buy with carbon credit. And uh, so we plant and we say to the farmer, okay, you plan to get this money. And every year you get the money. And then after five years, you, so this money can be quite good to make you have a little uh, profit and uh, for your work. And uh, after five years, your money became more because not only is one from the environment project that we are doing on your land for the future, but as well because it arrived the timber, it arrived the shoot. Okay, this is uh, my dream. To, to find uh, now the good uh, market for this uh, uh, carbon credit uh, with uh, the industry uh, and the means we can make. Uh, we have, then we have the food. Yeah. We have uh, uh, people that finance the farmer and the deportation. It seems and to be we, two things. We this. can make a uh, really Europe green. Yeah. Because uh, uh, you think in Italy we have uh, 13 billion hectares that are on cereal or different. Uh, so if we take one million hectares, uh, uh, we do plantation of bamboo, we have a extraordinary resource to do a lot of things okay, and to change the environment to it better. Okay, because the, the CO2. It's streaming big, no? The CO2 is not only the, the only one good benefit, no? Because we are always going to stop the power, you know. So, but as I understood it now, to sum it up, it is a combination of a good business model, which is certificate, yeah. and education. But, you, you but when we have, have this, when we have this, it's very easy to do it. Okay. When you have money, it's very easy to do that uh, uh, can finance the farmer. Okay. Farmer is not going to do something new in our culture. They are doing it, but in very little quantity. No? And in very little quantity is going to do maybe we need 200 years to, to reach uh, what I mean. But, uh, if uh, things are changing it this way, maybe in 20 years we will have that. Okay, another question. Yes, please. Last question then. Um, I would like to know uh, what about the growth, uh, not in the high, but in the um, fläche, um, area, the, the, the area, uh, about uh, what, um, does bamboo grow uh, exponentially or um, uh, not? <laughs> To whom do you address your question? Uh, to the researchers. For, for the bamboo <coughs> project. For, for yes. The, because we have two types of bamboo. One is uh, uh, the tropical, and uh, for the timber, it's like the timber, it's uh, clumpy. Um, so it's, it's growing. Uh, you call them running bamboo, no? Cla clumping and running. A clumping and running, clumping, okay. Clumping is a tropical bamboo, so it's, uh, it's clumpy. So it's not running. No? So you put it like here, you don't go too far. Mozo is going. He, moved, he, had, he has the rhizome, uh, and uh, it uh, became, uh, from the rhizome come out the shoot, the shoot became a can, it's a cane, and it's going to run. And uh, this is uh, it's running depending on how is the land. No? If the land is very dry, it's very hard, it's going very slow. If the land, land is humid and soft, it's going to run very fast. Okay? And uh, uh, then when the, the rhizome is going to grow and more, more the, the, the 
transplantation is growing, more the ribon became bigger in that diameter and strong and is powerful. Now, at the beginning, when we put the little plant, the, the ribon is like uh, uh, one, uh, one pen. No? Then, uh, year by year, no? this ribon is going to grow in diameter. No? and be more strong, so the shoots that come from this rhizome are always more bigger. In Mozo, I told her that uh, if uh, the plantation grew regularly, any years you double, till you reach 8 to 14 centimeter average of the diameter of the, the shoot and uh, the cane. I don't know if I can answer well. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> you understood? But, uh, uh, not, not the whole, was it in the uh, area or in the height? The, the, the double? No, the, uh, the area is going uh, to, um, uh, to grow, no? to, the, the, it's going to colonize the area, but uh, you need uh, a certain number of uh, plant for hectare to colonize because uh, you can put one uh, mozo in the center of one hectare and uh, after 50, 70 years uh, all the hectare done, okay, but uh, in the time. So when we plant, we plant uh, from 1,200 to 2,500 plant in, uh, in, all, in all the, the land. So this is going very fast, okay? Because uh, uh, then how is uh, running? It depends how the land is soft and what, how irrigation you have or raining it is you have. Because if uh, the, there is a desert. You, you put the irrigation uh, on the line, and out uh, there is a desert. The rhizome is not going there. Okay, he is going where you feel the water. No, he runs uh, on the water. And if the land is very hard, no, because uh, you do give it work, the land. Uh, so he, he finds the, uh, the hard. So instead to do one meter, he's doing uh, this year ten centimeter. Okay because it's very hard for him to go. So the answer we don't like, because the answer is, it depends. It depends. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much to all of you. I think we make a little rest, we make a little pause, and we meet again at, somebody knows? I tell you. Okay. Thank you.